Today's trend is like full stack development. Anyone from any background can understand it, considering various other things that will help you to get a better job and also you will be future proof. Full stack will be the best way to start your career with. So I was researching about the top courses that are available and I came to know about Internshala. You will be getting a certificate from National Skill Development Center to start as early as possible. And by the time that you were graduated, I think you will be better equipped than other students who did not join this course early. So I am currently working as a backend engineer at Dish Network Technologies. So hi everyone, today we are with Uday Kalyan. Uday is a full stack development placement course student and he has secured a full time job with Dish Network as senior engineer. So welcome Uday and a huge round of applause for your career ki shuruaat in full stack developer field. आज की इस इंटरव्यू से हम आपसे आपके पूरे प्लेसमेंट जर्नी के बारे में जानेंगे आपने कौन सी स्किल्स सीखी उसको सीखने के लिए कौन कौन से प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाए आपने रेज्यूमे कैसे बनाया और आपके पूरे इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस को भी डिटेल में जानेंगे सो उदय फॉर आर व्यूअर्स प्लीज टेल एस अबाउट योर एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड एंड वेयर आर यू वर्किंग करेंटली Oh, hello all uh, so my name is uday so i got a masters degree so it was in computers and information sciences and then i have worked as a devops engineer for about 2 years and then i transitioned myself into a software development role that's where internshala course has helped me to transition uh, to a back end engineer so i am currently working as a back end engineer at dish network technologies thank you Okay. So, uh, which course did you do from Intonshala? Ah, uh, it was a full stack development course. Okay. And why did you choose Intonshala to do this course? So, I was actually researching about the current market trend, and the market trend is was like a uh, JavaScript main stack. So, I was researching about the top uh, courses that are available for the main stack, and I came to know about Intonshala, and uh, I have verified all the curriculum with them, uh, with the other uh, courses too, and I particularly like the Intonshala course because of their uh, projects and also the fact that uh, they have online course. It was fully online, so that uh, aligned my interest. So, I. I have chosen Intonshala for that reason. So, how is the course content? Like, is it beginner friendly, and is it easy to understand? Ah, uh, yes, it was actually a beginner friendly course. So, anyone from any background can understand it. I personally, I was from DevOps position, so I get to know. Like, I mean, I have some. Uh, Touch base with the software concepts, but the course itself was very easy to understand to anyone coming from any background, actually. And uh, yeah, it was from a beginner to intermediate level course. Yeah. Okay. So, what academic and professional background do you think students need to get a career started in full stack development? So, uh, I personally think. actually anyone can uh, start this course and uh, anyone can become a software engineer actually so it was a kind of boot camp where if you want to join a software developer you can uh, opt for this course and you can understand the concepts and within 6 uh, to 8 months depending on your uh, course completion uh, you can get into software development pretty quickly yeah okay so did you read the review before taking the course what was your feeling before enrolling into intonshala full stack development course yeah before taking this course i have reviewed many uh, students actually many student reviews and also i have reviewed other courses too but the curriculum from intonshala and the fact that i mentioned uh, like it was an online course uh, mm-hmm. made me choose this so i uh, before that i was uh, like considering about various other things also like on site will be a good course uh, curriculum but actually this hybrid course or online course will be very useful like you can uh, complete this course at your pace so that was the main uh, reason that i chose to th- join this course okay so in a detailed step by step manner could you please explain like uh, the whole process of getting into the course and mm-hmm. then how this course proceed like when did you enroll what kind of projects did you do how was your overall experience with the course so i joined this course in uh, june 2024 so at that time uh, while enrolling you will be have to speak uh, with a counselor okay. so the counselor will explain you all the 
course curriculum and what are the syllabus and what is the projects that you are going to do within the course and how it will help your career and also this course comes with a 100% placement guarantee not assistant it was a guarantee condition so that is also one thing that i consider while joining this course so when i joined this course it was like uh, there are four instructors especially thanks to anshika samra tricha and uh, sonia these instructors are like very capable and they have explained me the concepts very clearly so within this course i have like eight modules wherein you will go from uh, basics to the intermediate level so the first thing was like with the html and css where you will be making a, a static websites and then you will be going with the javascript concepts where you will get to know the programming language and all the core concepts around the programming language especially javascript and then you will move on to dsa foundations where you will understand the algorithms uh, that will help you to build the projects actually the core concepts of the project and then you will be building a real time project in my case i built like an e-commerce website which helped me like to understand how the real world projects are getting built so after that we'll come to the end of the course where we'll be developing a capstone project uh, so in my case i was uh, uh, developing a youtube clone project where i have integrated all the concepts that i have learned in this course so that i can uh, have a full understanding of how the main stack is getting implemented in the real world scenarios so okay. that was the case and uh, finally you will be getting a certificate from nsdc which was a government backing up from national skill development center so that was the nice additional extra um, from this course hmm. okay great so what is the duration of this course it's a self paced course but the usual time around uh, it will take around 6 to 8 months so you can uh, preferably complete this course in 3 months also and when your placement journey start in this course like after how many months and how was your experience of placement journey mm -hmm. uh, so actually this course i have completed it in february 2025 and later on uh, as part of this course there will be a placement session too because it comes with a 100% placement guarantee so at that point of time you will be joining the placement guarantee program from internshala where you will be developing your resume and you will be curating your resume according to the industry standards with that resume you can apply to multiple portals and internshala also have their own portal where you can apply for jobs or internship whichever you like so with that i have actually applied to many portals and i get to have this opportunity at dish networks okay so now let's discuss your interview process like how many companies did you apply to and uh, how was your interview at dish network what kind of mm -hmm. questions did they ask the overall uh, interview experience was it easy difficult or mm -hmm. okay uh, so actually uh, from internshala we have to apply like 10 resumes for every week so that was the like a minimum uh, thing to do so that you will be exposed to the market so after your resume building and also there will be a soft skills learning sessions from the internshala team itself so that will help with your confidence while uh, attending the interviews so i took like 3 months 3 months to uh, consistent uh, applying for the jobs so it was around like 3 months and each week uh, 10 applications finally i got this opportunity where it was a senior engineer to back end development so it was the, the primary programming language that they were looking for is java but i have the javascript concepts so the interview was like uh, four rounds so the first two rounds were like technical rounds where uh, they have asked me about dsa questions and this is where like the dsa course helped me a lot to crack this interview so the first question was like it was uh, related to dictionaries mappings in java and then the second interview question was like how do you sort the data in an efficient manner actually the dsa course in internshala have helped me with that there is a uh, sorting techniques and uh, algorithms all uh, all were present and you are highly like equipped with all the tools and then uh, i had the last two rounds were the manager rounds and the final round is with the hr so that is how the interview process goes and each round is about 30 minutes and finally the hr round is like 15 minutes and uh, finally i got the opportunity
Okay, great. So when you have mentioned the job title, it is a senior software engineer. So what are the job responsibilities, and uh, why do you think uh, students should start their career or should build their career in full stack development? So a uh, college student, if they are from the computer science, I mean uh, any background for that matter. Today's trend is like software development, particularly in the full stack development. So full stack development is like developing the software from end to end. It was a total software development life cycle. A student or anyone from any background will understand how they are building the software from end to end. So you will be getting to deal with the databases and then the CI/CD processes and then uh, programming language itself. self like java or javascript anything that will help you to get a better job and also you will be future proof actually if you start from a full stack development course uh, rather than uh, going with the devops or uh, any particular uh, uh, narrowest uh, uh, niche technology full stack will be the best way to start your career with okay great so you mentioned about resume as well so uh, yeah. two or three things you focused on in your resume and did the course help you to create your resume yeah so the resume was uh, actually i was curating and also internshala will also help you develop your resume so in the resume if you are uh, if you have a background with uh, with uh, no experience you can put the projects that you have completed in this course so the projects are very interesting and also very uh, informative so that you will be getting to know under, uh, to understand uh, mongodb react javascript and node js and the focus of these projects are around these uh, concepts uh, so if you have mentioned those courses you can uh, you are you will be able to explain them in your interviews also this helped me a lot uh, and also internshala will finally like um, curate your resume further uh, if there are any errors or any uh, typos in your uh, resume they will be correcting too and your resume is will be ready for the market Okay. So Uday, you were coming with the experience in software already. Yeah. So you managed to secure a full-time job right after mm-hmm. the course. At times, students land internship first. So do you think yeah. starting a career with an internship is a good idea? Ah, uh, sure. I mean, uh, if you have no background in the software development itself. I think the internship is the only way to get into a job market actually in the internship they will be training you on a different concepts like uh, whatever you have learned in this course you will be trying with a small project that a company has uh, with that internship you can convert them into the full time opportunity that the wow. company will uh, look into it so for the first 3 months i would suggest any student to get an internship at a company and uh, show their skills that they have learned in this course or any other course also to show up within the company to highlight them themselves within the company and then uh, transition into a full time job opportunity that would be a great way to start the career actually So the last question is one career advice you would like to give to a college student or a graduate who is about to start their career then what it would be my advice would be for them to start as early as possible i would think like after completing their second year of studies they will be having a idea of what they want to pursue in their career so i would suggest them to start their career as soon as possible by taking a course if possible i think the internshala is a great way to start your career because it's online you can start this course at anywhere from india so i think you start the course and then start building your uh, dsa algorithm uh, strategy so uh, solve lead code every day or geeks for geeks and then understand the core concepts of any one programming language for that matter of time like javascript is the market trend right now get to know that concept and you will be like uh, getting to know any other programming language it's the same concepts focus more on uh, ci cd uh, devops stuff because uh, devops i mean it's a separate career but a software engineer needs to know the devops role also so you need to understand all the concepts and by the time that you are graduated i think you will be better equipped than other students who did not join this course early so uh, that's my only advice start early yeah yeah great advice uh, thank you so much uday for your time 
and viewers thank you for watching the video i will see you in the next video with next inspiring story till then all the best